Hello, my name is Jaydev and my roll number is 21F1003751 and this is uh, my final project for the Modern Application 2 course. Uh, it's essentially an extension of the flashcard application that we built uh, in the Modern Application Development 1 course. Uh, so let's walk through it. This is just a simple login page. I'm going to log in with my student account. You see all of the uh, authentication is happening in a completely token based fashion. Uh, there is no cookie based authentication at all. So currently I don't have any decks uh, in my account. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the Anki platform and I'm going to download this particular deck of uh, flags. So it asks us, it gives us the image of a flag and tries to ask us where the, oh, which country's flag it is. So I'm going to download this and I'll just save it. And then in my application, I can simply import it again through um, the celery task that is uh, going to notify me when the upload is complete. So this is the file from Anki that I downloaded. I'm going to open and upload this file again. It tells me that my deck is being important and uh, because uh, it might be a long running task, it notifies me via email. So we are using Celery for this. I'll just do OK. And then when I go to my inbox, uh, if I look at the Celery logs, it tells me that the email is already sent. And there it is. That is my notification. It tells me that my email is ready. So I just go home and refresh my page. It tells me that the World Flags deck is ready. It's important. So when I go to this deck, you see that it's basically a very large deck. There are about uh, more than 200 uh, flags here. So what I'll do is I'll create a smaller deck out of this. I still have access to all the cards that are in the deck. So I'll create a smaller deck out of this and I will uh, show how we can run exercises through that deck. So I have taken a subset of the cards that were available in the imported deck and I've created a smaller deck called Smaller Flags which only has 10 cards. The original one had uh, 195 cards. So let's run an exercise through this deck. So it tells us that there are basically these cards in it and I can just revise it before I start exercising. So this is Bangladesh, this is Bhutan, this is Israel, this is probably Nepal and this is finally South Korea. So I can do a revision like this just like we do with flashcards. And then let us start the exercise. This is Japan. This is Korea. Okay, it was supposed to be South Korea. This is clearly Canada. This is probably Bhutan. Okay, no, the answer is Nepal. This is Brazil. I made a typo there. This is clearly India. Israel. Uh, perhaps Burma. I'm not too sure. Okay, Macedonia. This is Bhutan. The earlier one was Nepal. This is Bangladesh. And there it is. It tells me that I have scored 60%. And as soon as I finish this, I receive a message in my Google chat, which tells me that I scored 60% on the smaller flag stack. It came exactly about uh, the moment that I finished it. And this is uh, again done through webhooks. So Celery is configured to uh, send this message via webhooks uh, whenever somebody finishes revising a deck. Right? And then when I go back to my dashboard, it tells me that the last time I reviewed it was 25 seconds ago. My latest score was 60 seconds. And of course, my average score since I've reviewed it only one is 60%. Uh, so these uh, details keep on getting updated as uh, we go along uh, revising decks more, uh, more and more. I can also send a progress report to myself. My email address is already present. So when I send a progress report, it again tells me that the report is being generated. And if I look at the salary logs, again, the email has been sent. So again, if I go to my inbox, say this is my progress report. It has just arrived in my inbox. And here, when I say I see an HTML email, which is essentially the same snapshot of the dashboard that I saw on my home page, right? And the same email, uh, the same report is also available for download as a PDF attachment. So this is pretty much the same thing. It tells me that there is one deck which I never reviewed and there is one deck which was reviewed 49 seconds ago. And uh, this probably is a mistake. I should have given it a timestamp. 
and my latest score is 60% and my average score is also 60%. So this is something that is being done again uh, via scheduled jobs uh, on salary and uh, there are also daily reminders that keep getting sent. So for example, these are reminders that keep getting sent every hour. The requirement said that we need to send them every month, but for the purposes of demo, I have basically made them send every one. So that is broadly what um, the application looks like. You can also go to a particular deck. So you can also go to a particular deck and export that deck. It is available as a zip file and the zip file contains all the images and the cards information, the front and back parts that is required. And then that same deck can be imported again through this uh, portal uh, by any other user. So that is broadly the application. Uh, mostly the biggest changes have been getting rid of uh, Jinja 2 as a templating language. Pretty much all of the front end has been uh, the templating and the reactivity has been moved over to Vue.js. Uh, caching has been added uh, using Redis and uh, a bunch of uh, salary tasks either to send periodic reminders or on demand uh, uh, material to a specific inbox, web hooks, uh, generating PDFs, all of that uh, is being taken care of by uh, salary workers. And uh, ultimate, all of the jQuery and native JS code that was earlier there to take care of all the reactivity, for example, things like this. When I particularly say create something like a simple card. Earlier, this was being done through jQuery. Uh, so now all of that is being done through UJS. So that is broadly what the application is like. Uh, look forward to seeing this in the Viber. Thank you very much.